The video today is on systems of equations. Systems of equations are when you have two or more equations using the same variables. Uh, the solution to the system is the point. So this will be also an ordered pair that you're looking for. Uh, when you're graphing, you can come up with three different possibilities for your answers in this one. Uh, so you have to know which type of examples or which type of lines you're graphing for this. So as we did in past chapters, uh, what we've done is we've graphed them. We've done it from function tables. We've done it from just points. Uh, we've done it from uh, the equation y equals mx plus b. We've taken and wrote written equations for y equals mx plus b. We put them in standard form. So all of that stuff is um, going to be put into, the, into play on this section here. So when you solve it for a system of equations, you got to find one solution that makes the system true. So you're going to have to check some things once you find it. Yes, you're going to still have to be asked to graph. Yes, you're going to be able to, to uh, manipulate the equation, rewrite it, y equals mx plus b, standard form, all that stuff, uh, and that'll take you through the process of finding the system that works for both equations. Uh, so when we talk about a system, we talk about two lines. Uh, one is they intersect. So at which point that they intersect, that is the solution to your graph. So in our example here, you have it at 1, 2 for the intersection of the two lines. Um, if they don't meet or they don't cross, then we have parallel lines. Uh, and that's something that was the reason why we stuck the parallel line section in where we did. Uh, remember that parallel lines have the same slope but different y-intercepts. So that can be a key when you get everything reorganized to y equals mx plus b uh, for that. Um, what are called coinciding or coinciding lines, these are lines that are on top of each other. So they're exactly the same uh, formula or equation. So they have the same slope, same y-intercept. Um, so they'll go, they'll lie right on top of each other. So any point on those two lines would actually work for both of them. So a system of equations, we're looking for a set of two more, two or more equations with the same variable. We're going to only work with two. Um, the solution is an xy ordered pair and it works in each of the equations. Uh, the solution is also where they intersect. So be careful of that, making sure you're looking for, if you look at the graph down here, uh, this is where it's intersecting, that's our point. So when we solve them, we want to make sure that we understand that we just need the slope and we, we need the y-intercept. Uh, we don't need a function table, that's gone. Uh, we just need to reorganize it into this. We can also use them as uh, the standard form and find the x and y-intercepts, and that way you have two points you can graph it. So here's an example of taking two standard form, turning it into slope-intercept, finding the slope, finding the y-intercept, and then taking that and putting it on a graph. So you can see where the graph is. Um, we've graphed both of them. And if you look at where they cross, they cross at 3, 0. So that means that that's where the intersection takes place. That is the number at which both of those work or where that number will work in both equations. Uh, the biggest thing that you got to make sure to do is check everything. So when you use it, um, we're going to use this at the first part uh, of this, and there's a couple other ways that we're going to use systems as we go. So if we take two equations, x plus, five, x plus y equals 5, uh, we're going to use y and x-intercepts. Uh, y equals 2x minus 1, already in slope-intercept form. So we're going to use them accordingly to what they're already set up as. So in the first one, we graph it, we find the y and x-intercept, and we find that they cross it to 3. Well, again, we want to check to make sure that they actually do work. So we want to put our numbers in for the numbers that we are found from our intersection. And we see that they both do equal 3, in this case, for the right equation, and 5 for the left one. So when you're asked to do this, if it's already graphed for you, and they just ask, what is the solution of the system graph below? All you're looking for is the ordered pair at which those two cross. And in this case, it would be 2, negative 2. And that's all you have to do if it's already graphed for you. So if we find the solution of this one again, we have one that's, they're both in standard form. 
So we can graph it with using uh, x and y intercepts. Basically, we're going to plug a 0 in for x, plug a 0 in for y, and then we'll come up with that. So if we take 2x plus y equals 4, I'm going to use this, these two ordered pairs. And for x minus y equals 2, I'm going to use these two ordered pairs. And again, you can come up with anything as long as you have the x and y's at 0 uh, for one and the other. So when we put these in order, we're going to graph them. So we find that this is our ordered pairs, our graph line here for 2x plus y equals 4, x minus y equals 2, and you're going to notice that they cross and intersect right here. So our intersecting point is 2, 0. But again, we need to check them to make sure that it actually is what it is. So we just plug it back into both equations. And it's just simply putting in 2 for x, y in for 0, and doing the same for the next equation. And they have to equal the right-hand side. This, again, is another reason why we want to use standard form, but that's the only couple times. So let's try a different one. So to find the solution of this one, you notice that one is already in y equals mx plus b form. The other one is in standard form. So let's take them and use both in this case. So we do this. We move it over. We already have it, and we rearrange the negative 2x plus y equals 1. So we made it y equals 2x plus 1. So we're going to graph using the slope-intercept form. So if we take the two equations, here's our slope, here's our y-intercept, here's our slope and y-intercept for each of them, and then we're going to graph them. Now, one thing that you should have probably noticed is that they don't intersect. So there is no solution for this one. So that's the other case that you have. You have one intersection, you have uh, no solution, and then you have infinite I mean, when they line up on top of each other. The other thing that you should have noticed is we both have the same slopes. So if they have the same slopes, different y-intercepts, we have a parallel line. So anytime that you have that, you really don't even have to graph it if you can recognize that right off the bat that, oh, wait a minute, these have the same slopes, they're going to be parallel lines. They're not going to intersect each other. So again, recognizing what you have in the equation once you've reorganized it into y equals mx plus b. So you don't have to check it. Sometimes you don't even have to do it. So be careful with that. Make sure you're looking at it and uh, being aware of what we've done in the past uh, to help you out. Okay. Uh, some of these are going to get a little bit more involved. This is kind of the easier of the sections that we're going to do with the uh, graphing uh, of systems. Uh, the next video that we'll do will take us into a little bit more involved process of what we're going to do. We're actually going to solve it algebraically. That way there is no graphing. They're not going to want you to graph it. You're going to have to use some algebraic ways of moving things around, solving for a letter, and taking care of that. So you want to make sure that you're ready for that section, but make sure you look at the stuff that we did in this one, bring your notes in, and uh, take the time to uh, use them. So with that said, good luck. We'll see you in class.